to do the split stitch, bring your needle up at the end of your stitching line. For a split stitch, you're going to be splitting the threads, and I find it's easy to do at the beginning after you've brought your thread through. So I'm just going to kind of separate the strands. So there's three on the top, three on the bottom. And just kind of use this as I work. So I'm going to put my needle down like this. Pull it through, but not all the way. Then when I have just a little bit of thread left on each side, I'll bring my thread up through in the center between those two first stitches. Pull it all the way and then pull everything through. And then I'll separate my thread out again and I'll repeat the process. So come down forward. I like to do fairly large stitches on this. And then come with your needle halfway between those two points, bring it through, and then pull all the thread through. So this stitch does take a little bit longer than most. Um, maybe there's an easier way to do it. But. Okay, so another way you can do it is you can do your stitch in one motion. So you can come forward, bring your stitch back to that first stitch mark and pull it all through in one motion like that. And that can speed up the process a little bit. I'll admit this one isn't my favorite stitch. Um, I just feel like it's time consuming and the resulting effect isn't wow enough for me to care, I guess, but it's useful to know. When you get to the end, simply go back down through to the back of the fabric and tie it off. And that is the split stitch.